Hello, this is Prush Talwalker. Here are four tips for winning your NCAA bracket. Play the odds, work backwards, use game theory, and beware of expert predictions. Tip one, play the odds. Imagine you win 60% of the time if you pick right. How would you pick 10 times in a row? Yale students would pick a sequence of choices left and right randomly in an attempt to be perfect. They had a 52% success rate. Rats, by comparison, simply picked the favorite choice of right every time. They had a 60% success rate, and therefore they outsmarted the Yale students. The lesson is don't overthink it. You should consider playing more of the favorites to play the odds. Tip 2. Work backwards. The NCAA tournament has 64 teams, which means you need to pick 63 games. That's a lot of decisions. So just as you would solve a maze by looking at the end and going to the beginning, you can solve your bracket by considering picking your final four picks first. This will give you the most impact and will trim the number of decisions you have to make. Tip 3. Use Game Theory Would you rather have an 80% chance of splitting a $100 prize seven ways or 20% chance of having the $100 prize to yourself? The 20% chance of having the prize to yourself will give you the most expected winnings and that's the lesson. You should try and maximize your expected winnings. It's not about winning your bracket with the highest percentage, but rather when you win, you will also have a chance of getting the most money. Game theory suggests you should be contrarian to everyone else. If everyone else is playing the favorites, you pick the sleeper picks. If everyone else is picking the sleeper picks, you should pick the favorites. Tip 4. Beware of expert predictions. TV experts will often say that a couple of made shots means a player is the hot hand and a couple of missed free throws means they lack the clutch gene. TV experts don't always know what they're doing relative to the data. Next thing, the Vegas line is not a prediction of what'll happen. It's a prediction of where the money bet on both sides will be roughly equal. This is close to a prediction of the game, but it's not always the same. The third information source, prediction sites are always backwards looking. If there's a rule change, like the one and done phenomenon, they're not going to be able to take that into account as quickly as they should because they're using historical data. You can read more about all of this on my website, Mind Your Decisions. The post has a lot of details and links to useful resources. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can get my books listed on my website. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. Follow Mind Your Decisions on Facebook and Google+. Follow me at Presh Talwalker on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And if you like what I'm doing, you can support me on Patreon.